But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives to us a principle. And that principle is that it is essentially a choice that we make. That choice is between two. The choice of this life or the choice of the hereafter. And what it is meant by this choice is what is our ultimate goal? Is it to succeed in this life alone? And therefore that success comes in the forms of success that we also link to this life. The success of wealth, the success of maybe power or fame, the success of having a good career, whatever it may be that we think demeans or uh, equates success, then that is the success that we want and strive for. Or is our primary goal and ultimate objective the success of the hereafter? The pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in this verse that it is a choice. Man kana yuridu al Whosoever wishes for this life. Allah doesn't say that it's forced upon us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't say that it's something which He has obligated upon us. It's not something which He forces us to choose. He has given us the choice. And there are inevitably those people, and they are the majority of the creation of humankind, that they will choose the life of this world. Man kana yuridu al And then Allah Azza wa Jal tells us another important principle. So the first principle is that Allah gives us a choice. That is a choice that we and I and you, we make. And just because Allah may know what the choice is, or the decision that we will make, or the choice that we will take, it doesn't mean that Allah Azza wa Jal has forced us to make that choice. But it is from the attributes of Allah and from His names that He is all knowing and all aware and all knowledgeable. And therefore Allah Azza wa Jal knows what we will choose, but it is something which we ultimately make a choice for. And then Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that Allah grants to us our choices. And that choice in the word irada, that choice that we make, it is ultimately an action of the heart. And that is why when you look at the countless verses and the numerous ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ that speak about choosing, right? Choosing this world or choosing the hereafter, it often refers to the issue of intention. What you really want, what you strive for within your heart. So it's not just simply a case of, I want the dunya or I want the hereafter by my outward actions, by what I show to other people, by what I pretend that I want. But rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing to us that it is what is in the heart that matters. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man kana yuridu thawab dunya fa'inda Allahi thawab dunya wal akhira. Whosoever wishes for the rewards of this life, then with Allah does he have the rewards of this life and the next life. It is an issue of what you want in the heart. Our Prophet told us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that famous hadith that we've all probably heard.